Good morning from Kauai. I just realized today that I have never talked about my solo travel secrets. And I wanted to share them with you because there's some things you should know if you want to travel by yourself. Especially if you're a woman. So, um, you can do it. And these are things that I wish I had known when I first started traveling. Um, but I learned, um, so that first trip to South America for six months, that's what really made me a traveler because that place can be scary. Um, but there is some pretending involved. You have to pretend that you're completely self-assured and you are not at all flummoxed in any way. So the most vulnerable times are when you're arriving or departing, when you're in transit. So what you want to prepare. So for what what you want to do, you got to remember that people are watching in other countries for you to be kind of vulnerable. So pretend you're not. Just act like you live there. And now you're not going to get away with it all the time, but most of the time you will. So don't get caught looking at a map or looking around like you don't know what you're doing. What I do when I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going, two things. When you get somewhere, usually in a third world country, many people come running up to you to try and get you to go on their rickshaw or their donkey and horse cart or something. And you don't know where they're going to take you. So what I like to do is just sit down and have some chai and just ignore everybody and eventually they'll go away. The other thing you can do is have a plan about what you're going to do. Now you can't always predict. Sometimes like in Burma what happened to me was uh, about 10 people wanted me to go on their taxi and they were giving me outrageous prices to take me like three miles. Um, so the longer you wait the lower the price gets. Um, so, say it's night and you really want to get out of there, um, then sometimes you do have to pay more for a taxi. Just saying. Um, you can never go to the bathroom and leave your luggage anywhere. You have to take every single thing that you're carrying. And I have a little story about being in the Himalayas in Ladakh in a little shed going to the bathroom while the share jeep was beeping for me to come and join them and I was balanced over a hole doing my duty. Um, I had to hurry up carrying my Mac Pro, my cameras, all of my luggage because <laughs> I couldn't put it down because it was a dirt floor. So unless, well, just really don't trust anybody. You just can't. So take it with you into the bathroom. Um, and then I always buy one-way tickets. So if you want to buy a round trip, that's up to you. But I never know how long I'm going to be somewhere, which I highly recommend. Because if you have to pay money to change it, then it's a one-way ticket. So you can either shop way ahead on airlines sites. You can save up your points. You can... Um, you either get a real good deal if you're way ahead or it's your flight's leaving in a week or less. I've done it. Mostly I do it a short distance away, but I get a really good deal on a Bangkok to uh, San Francisco to Bangkok one way for $4.95. So first week of December. That's a good week to travel because nobody's traveling. Um, and then the thing about solo travel is it gives you a lot of freedom and uh, another tip to decide where you're going to go and what you're going to do is when you get to a new place, have an idea of some places that you might want to try just in your head so that you have somewhere to tell the taxi driver or the bus or wherever you're going. Um, and if you don't know the language, it is a good idea to bring the phrase book. That's something that I don't do anymore, but it helps when you start. So if you're a beginner, highly recommend it. And hey, comment below, subscribe, ask me my opinion about uh, traveling solo in 
Uh, Nepal, India, Cambodia, Bali, Ecuador, Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, um, and many more, Europe, Central America, and the United States. So, love to help you and um, comment below. Enjoy. And don't let anybody else's fear stop you from traveling solo because it's so much fun and you meet a lot of people. Oh, one more tip. Intuition. Trust your gut. If you have any twinge at all in your gut that something is wrong, get the hell out of there. You have to trust it. Your body tells you. So override your brain and your mind and trust your body. It will tell you. Don't ever ignore it. Namaste. Blessings. Aloha from Kauai. Comment below.